All right, we're going to one take this thing real quick. So let me sit down. Let me get comfortable. Hold on. Let me get comfortable. What's goody woody in the hoodie with it, y'all? It's your boy Pearl Woods. It's your boy Trail Santiago. Call me what you want to call me, but uh, call me today. Call me like relaxed. I'm chill. I just got done with my work week. I'm about to put my hair up because it's already in my face from being outside for like maybe 45 seconds. I, uh, as you guys can tell, I brought Izzy back here. She's still running. She's still going. Uh, this is my 2008 VTX 1300C and this is probably the most important thing I own. Uh, and the reason why is because this motorcycle and getting into the hobby of motorcycles in and of itself changed my life. And I love this bike so much. And it's been a great bike for me. And I put 20,000 miles on it. And I love the bike very, very much. However, <clears throat> I have always had a dream. And that dream is to be able to have creative control over organizing short films about things in my life that have been very important to me. And I've also had dreams of making short films on things that have been very important to other people's lives. Basically, I love the idea of journalism. I love the idea of having creative control. And that's why me and millions and millions of people just like me are on YouTube. Um, with this in particular, I've always wanted to make a short film style documentary history. Review is very light on the amount of effort and the amount of um, creative like shots and the amount of script writing. I want to do a full film on this motorcycle. And I've wanted to do a full film on this motorcycle since the day I bought it, which was May of 2023. So, year and a half. Um, I love this bike. I do. And this bike's brought me so many great memories. It's brought other people so many great memories. A lot of people who've never been on a bike for the first time have been on this bike. I, for the first time on a bike, was on this bike. Um, it may, I made a ton of friends. I've traveled to a ton of places on this specific machine and the Royal Star. Um, I just have a huge affinity for vehicles, motor vehicles, that are within the range that I grew up. So 2000, I was born in 2003, but like 2000 to like 2009, 2010, that decade uh, has some of the all-time greatest machines ever produced. You know, the... The uh, R35, right, GTR, uh, C5 Corvettes, the later year C5, early gen C6 Corvettes. Both of those are dream uh, sports cars for me. Uh, I never really aspired for the craziest stuff, but just the 2000s, right, the, uh, the Fireblade in 2000, uh, 2002 to 2006, I believe, right when they started launching the 1000s. Uh, one of the most beautiful bikes, the 954, is, I think, the most beautiful sport bike for me. And so it's like a first-gen Hayabusa and, you know, bikes like this and bikes like the Valkyrie, which I think were a little earlier. Honda Valkyrie was mid-90s, late, but like that age range, right? Um, all of these machines are something that I want to experience and own one day and to be able to travel and explore, but this was the first one. This was the one that started it. And I, the reason why I'm making this video is because I had a conversation with somebody at work today about why. <laughs> why did I buy the bike? Why do I buy the bikes? Why do I buy machines, right? It, it's from a, from a perspective of somebody who isn't enthused in the idea of travel and of automotive travel in particular, um, the idea of just buying and owning a, a bike that's, you know, five years younger than I am and a bike that's two years older than I am uh, is crazy. And why, why I got into riding in the first place, to be 150% honest, was because I couldn't get into performance driving. You know, a, a C5 Corvette um, was almost the car I bought instead of the car I have now. And the reason why I bought my car, which is a Japanese sedan, an Infiniti, not the G, the M, making that very clear. Uh, why I bought 
that instead of, or why I bought the Infiniti instead of a Corvette was just, insurance was too high. Insurance was way too expensive. And I bought my car late 2019 and C5 prices, <laughs> as you guys may have known, all car prices during the pandemic were crazy, but especially sports cars. Uh, I, I saw a base model C5 stick with like 40,000 miles, so for 35 grand, you know, and that car wasn't, it wasn't even, it wasn't even below 20 where I'm from in Chicago. Didn't even get lower than that prior, or it was around, it was like 15, it was like 10 for an auto, 15 to 20 for a stick, and now sticks are 35, 40, autos are 28, 30. I mean, it was crazy, and so really missed out on that opportunity, but the insurance was just way too high. Long story short, I love automotive travel and I, I wanna make reviews and you guys have seen me make, uh, I would say embarrassingly rudimentary travel videos. I have a video of me going to Canada and a video of me going to Galena. Those to me are very rudimentary and the motivation I have to bring my uh, editing and bring everything like that to the next level is, it, it's, pretty, it's really difficult for me. Um, I want to learn how to edit and I want to learn how to make videos. Basically, I set a goal that this year I was going to make a fully scripted, edited, professional grade uh, history and review of the VTX 1300. And I didn't get to it. I mean, it's mid-October. I have one beautiful weekend coming up this weekend. And I have no plans to do anything with it. Um, this VTA, this is my favorite thing ever. I mean, it really is. And I want to show off the uh, development I have had in becoming a fan of these, these vehicles. And I have equipment that can help me with that. I have, I'm filming on the DJI right now because um, my Sony's lens broke long story short the wind was too strong for the tripod um i'm filming on the dji right now i have a mic i have camera i have a nice powerful computer i have adobe creative cloud i have everything i would need to go ahead and make a video and i haven't and this isn't me dooming and saying man i suck at my job um i just have so much going on you know i'm always out on a ride which I can review but most of the time it's rides with my friends and with my group and you know they don't need to be or want to be in the video sometimes and um, I'm always traveling to see friends I got friends that are far away and I'm always per it's always personal time and if it's not personal time it's work and I need to learn how to balance the work and personal life more uh, this is a ranting video I don't know if you guys can tell but uh, just getting to kind of what I need in my eyes and you guys can give me feedback as well but I know I need to film me uh, riding the bike I need to film me showing off different features of the motorcycle I need to have a stronger in-depth knowledge of the motorcycle itself I need to write a script that can be uh, emotionally attaching and bring people in like I want this to be a passion project first and I want this to catapult my ability to make more passion projects later. Now, with that being said, I work a full-time job, I'm in college, and it's not an excuse, but it does take up most of my time. And so, when I'm not doing those two things, I'm either recovering from them, I'm out on a ride recovering from them, I'm with friends recovering, you know what I mean? Like, I, I always have something uh, going on, and I, will i'm making this video to say i will have this video out next year if not now <laughs> i want to start now i need to start script writing um bringing an emotional aspect to media and to art i think is one of the coolest things ever i love being able to hear a song or watch a movie or look at a painting or read a book and have that emotional uh reaction to the content being displayed and I've always I've always been such an emotional person that I want to be able to bring that out in my own way 
And I want to be able to do that with better energy. Now, the, the issue I have is not writing. My issue I have is not recording. My issue I definitely have is not writing. But I think I get intimidated by the size and volume of editing that I have to do. Uh, the size and volume of um, like audio control has been really difficult for me. Uh, I can't seem to find a good way to ride with a uh, mic lavalier unless I got a higher end lavalier. I bought this as my higher end lavalier and that doesn't work. So I, I have a hard time finding uh, a way to record audio and I have a hard time with the daunting process of editing like an entire video. And I want to get to that point. If you guys have any tips for editing and how to do it and everything, you guys see I cut my videos together and I think the closest I got to a fully formulated video with B-roll and stuff was my Schwinn bicycle video, uh, my 80s Schwinn that I uh, haven't rode in like a month. But I'm making this video to commit to being able to make a video next year covering this motorcycle. And I want to, I want to include the B-roll and I want to include the shots and I want to include the script writing and I want to have good audio control and background music and things that can, can, that can tell a story, you know? Um, I think the best, the best journalists tell a story, you know? It's really easy for me to say this thing has 75 horsepower, 90 foot-pounds of torque, uh, 6,200 RPM red line, you know, zero to 60 in six seconds, uh, 600 pound wet weight, you know, like it, it's really easy for me to do that, and it's really easy for anybody to do that. And I think what differentiates great journalism and great uh, production is the ability to convey emotion through that. And I want to be able to do that for you guys. And I will be able to do that, not for even just for you guys, but for me. Because I want to be able to watch that and be like, dang, <laughs> that's pretty swank, you know? Um, Izzy's doing great. I mean, Izzy's doing all right. I took her out for another ride or two. She's still uh, gassing out. She needs a. She just needs a full tune-up, carb, jets, um, spark plugs. She she just needs a whole. She just needs a whole top-down service, and she'll be good to go again. Uh, Kali's still having the clutch slip, so we're going to get the clutch fixed hopefully soon. I'm going to ask if I can squeeze it in this weekend. But other than that, the bike's been great. Uh, Kylie's is at 32,000 miles. I bought her with 20,420 in May. So, you know, 11,000 miles in five and a half months. Pretty crazy to think about. Uh, Kylie's had a few thousand miles on her too. I, the craziest part actually is I realized my car, which I did 26,000 miles of driving a year in, um, I'm now doing about four because <laughs> I ride so much and the, the, whenever I can, that um, I got my oil change at like 140, I think it was at like 141 in February and I'm at like 144. <laughs> like it's crazy how little I drive my car because I love the bikes and I love being able to do stuff with the bikes and I wanna get more consistent with schedules and I wanna get more consistent with uploading. And I think the only other question I would have for you guys would be if it's okay if I get back into gaming a little bit. Uh, I used to stream Smite uh, last year all the time. I used to stream Apex. I really love the finals. I've been grinding the finals. If you want to know where my degenerate time has gone to, it's been to uh, grinding ranked finals. Maybe I'll hop on a live stream and stream the finals. Um, all, all these are great options for ways I can continue to create content. And maybe I'll just specifically have my, my video games be live and have my videos be um, like videos like this. I, I don't know. But I really want to do it, and I want to let you guys know that I have the motivation and energy to do it. I want to be a part of this um, culture. I want, to, I want to get to the point where I can continue to buy and review motors, not even just buy, but review motorcycles. I know a lot of people with bikes. So if I can get this pilot video out and to a quality that's really high, hopefully other people would let me be able to do it with their bikes. And now I'm shooting other bikes and now I'm reviewing more stuff and I'm, I'm creating more stories and I'm telling more stories and I'm traveling further and you know I, I that's my goal 
that's that's my goal with content creation that's my goal with sitting in front of a camera and i want you guys to be a part of it and i want to be a part of it because it's me doing it um but i'm not doing it so i gotta start doing it anyway i just want you guys to look at the bike i want you guys to look at me i just want to talk to you guys for a little bit about why i haven't been able to create the video yet and why i will create the video soon because i there's only so much time i have to do this kind of stuff and the further I get in my work career, the more I realize that the less time I would have to do this. And so I want to be able to do this while I'm young and while I have more free time and while my, my responsibilities aren't as heavy as the people around me, that I can continue to work on building this channel for you guys. And why I'm very excited to soon, you guys will get a notification when you're subscribed, ring the bell. Like, soon you'll get that notification that's, like, the VTX 1300. And it's a video that's opening with me talking and cinematic shots and camera work. And, you know, I, I want to be that person that displays that for you guys. And I, I love the videos where I'm shooting and I'm just talking and I'm reviewing something or whatever. But reviews aren't sustainable for somebody like me because I don't make the income to be able to review things. So I have to be able to take what I have, which are my two 20-year-old bikes, and make art out of them. And so I'm going to do that for you guys. And I just want to talk to you guys for a little bit, to be honest. Also, I love watches. Watches are cool too. But again, it's hard to pull myself in one direction when I have so many different things I enjoy. Because, you know, I'm, I'm riding bikes, but I also enjoy the idea of, like, watch making and watch repair and... Um, like any of the hero like the horology and stuff like that. I love getting into uh, just super little things from time to time, right? Like I, I there's technology is always something that I love pursuing and upgrading and adapting, which is terrible for somebody with my income level. But you know, we we have so many hobbies, and I, I'm gonna try to balance them right into riding. And I want you guys to know that my personality will shine through, and I'll be able to get this to work. And I'll turn it on for you guys. You guys want to see it turned on. She's beautiful. 63,000 miles. I just had the reflectors fall off of it about a month ago. So I ordered some new ones. I just haven't stuck them on yet. Um, let's see. How many miles? 64. Actually, 64,838. She's almost at 65. I didn't even realize. But we'll start it up for you. Starts. Starts literally every time. Without a single worry. She just always starts. And... She's gotten me through a lot. <laughs> Great bike. I love this thing. Um, and it was also a lot easier to drag into the backyard than Kali was. Kali sucked to drag into the backyard. I'll tell you that. This thing, I could, I could dirt, I could off-road this thing. But I want to start doing more stuff and getting more projects on the way. And, you know, I, I want to be able to record more content for you guys. So if you guys have any ideas what I can do, how I should do it, you know, are you guys okay with me just editing videos, cutting them up and uploading them now. And when I get my, my film out, you guys will be very impressed by what I do. I'm, I'm just, there's so many things. And I just wanted to say hi, catch up with you guys, talk to you guys. Hopefully your days have been good. Hopefully your work week has been good. Um, and hopefully I can hunker down, start my, start my script and get everything done. Hopefully I can. And I, I hope you guys will be there to see it when I do it. So it's just a little rant. There was no like real topic besides the, the, the film. So I just wanted to update you guys on everything and get you guys to know me a little better. Because now you guys know my dream garage is the VTX, um, a Hayabusa, and a 954, and the Venture, and the C5, and the first gen GTR. And like I like this, I like this stuff so much right you know maybe not the fact that these are carbureted bikes but other than that these things are sweet and i can always get a carbur i can always fuel inject them i don't know if i'm rich but i hope you guys very much enjoyed um me just sitting here and talking to you guys i mean this is a good looking bike i just got these tires too these tires have like 400 miles on them uh if you guys enjoyed the video let me know i know this is kind of just a discussion talking video and i wasn't 
telling you guys how to do something or why I or why to do something or what to buy or what not to buy or I just wanted to talk to you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed it um hopefully you guys will see me on stream soon I think I'll start streaming the finals again let me know about that too and as always uh, I'll see you guys next week with probably something a little bit more put together because <laughs> I just got a burst of energy and I wanted to talk to you guys so that's why I did it but I'll get some more energy or I'll get a more uh put together film thing going for you in the future and as always you guys have a great rest of your day all right i'll see you guys later